Hey there guys, welcome back to another video of all things Apple Plus. Sorry, it has been a minute since we've last did a video on anything Apple, but I did want to give you guys, I've actually been taking a break for myself, uh, and just spending some time and just kind of getting back together in the groove of things. But I did want to give you guys a video on the public beta of iOS 13, give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get it, and then kind of give you my experience with it. So as I'm navigating through settings, I actually do want to show you that I, I did have the public beta, was jailbroken, and or was jailbroken, navigated over to the public beta, and now I'm on iOS 12.3.1. And just the, um, I want to give you guys, again, the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get this, and then my experience with this, which I think is the more important part. So make sure that you do stay till the end of the video and check that out, and my reasons why I kind of regret actually navigating over to public th or to the public beta and even trying out the developer beta of iOS 13. So let's go ahead and get into the matter in hand. If this is something that you do want to proceed and do, you go ahead and navigate over into beta.apple.com. And even though I know that this is a hey, this is actually a very late video, I'm sure you've read and listened to a plenty of videos by now about how to update to iOS 13. I did want to put my experience and my thoughts and opinions out on the matter. So once you navigate over into beta.apple.com, plug in your username and passcode and enroll or sign up and Apple will actually send you a quick passcode to authenticate yourself to make sure that you are the said person using that device. So they'll send you either a text message or they'll ask for your location and they'll send you a quick link, a quick text, or even uh, a, with like a six, six digit character that will you know allow you to go ahead and install and download the actual beta profile. Now from the next menu here, we can go ahead and enroll our devices and as we scroll down, we'll scroll down to step number two, which is install profile. Install profile right here, there's two different profiles you can actually install at the moment iOS 13 and iOS 12.4 and you are able to get either or so if you want to check check out iOS 12.4 you're more than welcome to downgrade or if you need to and then try iOS 13 if you want to at that point so there are two different profiles so as we've downloaded iOS 13 or as we tap the blue button for the iOS 13 beta profile you can see that it's going to navigate over to settings and then from settings we're going to need to trust this profile just like how we've done with plenty of other different profiles like Tweetbox or Ignition there are different profiles that we've you know trusted in the past. This is going to be the same thing. Unlike un well, unlike those, we will need to restart our device. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the video here, restart my device after installing this, and then we're going to come back to this. So awesome. Now we've after we've reset our device and re you know rebooted, what we're going to do is navigate over over back into settings, software update, and as you can see here there's iOS 13 public beta ready for us to download. Now I am not downloading this public beta for many of reasons. Again, there is there's a plenty of features and plenty of good things that come with iOS 13. Dark mode and emojis, your pictures, your photo albums, the swipe to text. There's a lot that goes into iOS 13 that's really great. But you also need to know that some of your iOS 12 apps or the apps that are on the App Store right now, they're not meant for iOS 13 and they're not available to be used right now. Even apps like LumaFusion has you know have problems where the actual app crashes from time to time so you'll notice that a lot of your apps just don't work plus you, there are a ton a ton of bugs i can't tell you how many times that i thought my device was on wi-fi and it wasn't or the fact that some of the the different menu options are changed and it's just and finding the directory to some of these menu items are just it's not there so i really didn't have a great time with ios 13 but i did at the same time so it's your choice i hope you guys choose wisely and i hope you guys did like this video and i'll be catching you guys on the next one that we get extra extra